Good evening. What's going on there, folks? It is the Earthmaster here on this uh, Thursday night, June 1st, 2023. It's about 10.50 p.m. here along the West Coast uh, in the state of California here. And uh, latest quake shows a 5.2 over here in our quiet zone right around the Mariana Islands, the Mariana Trench. This area showing some slight uptick here today, uh, including this 5.2 that just came in around Guam and a prior earthquake up here along the uh, trench zone at 4.6 earlier this afternoon. It has been awfully quiet here over the past week or so as far as earthquake activity goes. Looks like things are starting to finally build up and uh, potentially uh, increase there in that region. All right, getting some activity over here around Northern California. Actually, this is on the Nevada side of the state line, uh, just northwest of Reno, Nevada. Uh, they did have a uh, little earthquake activity up here uh, earlier this evening, a 4.0, uh, along with some other uh, smaller earthquake activity. Looks like it was felt around the Reno area and Truckee. Uh, also, it looks like maybe around the Susanville area as well. Not a big earthquake, but a little bit of seismic increase out here uh, in the area today of California. Oh, I should say Nevada again. Uh, so far, a total tally, it looks like, of about 15 earthquakes in this area. Uh, it is off of a, uh, there's a fault system that kind of runs up here along with the mountains. It's been a little while since we've seen any earthquake activity uh, specifically th in this area. Uh, but this, uh, yeah, just a little bit of movement up there. Still think it's a pretty good sign of some uh, uh, pressure out here along the west coast. A little bit of movement also around the Lake Almanor area of Northern California again. Uh, one from this morning and then a 2.4 from uh, earlier this evening. Coming in uh, right around the Lake Almanor area once again. Over here around the southern end of the Cascadia. Still seeing some activity this morning. Uh, nothing so far this afternoon. I do want to check here on the trimmer map and see if this is continuing to increase. Uh, 317 epicenters of tremor, mostly around the uh, southern end here of the Cascadia subduction zone. Making it uh, day number, oh, I don't know. This kind of kicked up here on the, about the 11th of, no, no, I shouldn't say the 11th. That's the date I just clicked. Looks like around the 21st uh, is when we had that tremor uh, uptick. C closing in really close to 5,000 epicenters of tremor uh, just within this little short amount of time period. Uh, that could have something to do with the crustal activity we're seeing up here around Reno. Uh, it does, you know, this activity obviously is down dip downstream into the subduction zone, but I can't help but wonder, you know, the effects of that uh, movement, not only up at the Cascadia level, the subduction zone, but uh, along the North American plate could have, uh, could be a little part and why we're seeing a little increase in activity here across the, um, North American Plate region here in Northern California and the Nevada area. Uh, Pacific Northwest, a little bit of movement outside of Victoria, it looks like, around the Strait of Juan de Fuca, mostly smaller microquakes. Uh, let's see, Southern California, nothing spectacular going on, mostly smaller quakes. Not really seeing anything uh, noteworthy. Up into the Yellowstone area, got one earthquake showing up here. 2.1 around noontime, but uh, let's see what we have. Just double check. Looks like um, looks like there's been a little bit of earthquake activity here. This movement right here showing up on a good uh, majority of the stations there within the last couple hours. Nothing big, uh, but still looks like that may be uh, starting to kick up here. We'll continue to watch that overnight see if it turns into a swarm or not all right rest of the country here a little bit of activity across colorado and of course the oklahoma area as uh, far as any major earth earthquakes going on here um there's really not a whole lot uh, currently taking place getting a little bit of larger movement offshore here of the it's exactly where this is at here uh, portugal region Madeira Islands, I believe that's correct. 4.251 kilometers deep for this earthquake. Somewhat of a larger, well, I should say moderate quake for this area. 
don't really see too much activity out here. Uh, it looks as though things may be amplifying up here slightly. A little bit of movement across the Mediterranean as well. Uh, right now, it kind of looks as though things have kind of come to a halt here across the uh, across the plate boundary as far as that westward uh, pressure gradient goes, uh, leading to some back building of earthquake activity in a couple different zones there that we really haven't seen too much uh, movement at. Uh, Mariana Islands for one, and it looks like uh, Solomon Islands southward, right around the Loyalty Islands area, still seeing some uh, earthquake activity here on the globe. Down here across the Kermadec Trench and the Tonga Trench, nothing showing up here on the USGS map. Uh, New Zealand looks like they got a 3.0 down there. Let's double check that from the GeoNet servers here. Going to go to the all magnitudes. Let's see what we have going on here. The list. Of course, there's always earthquake activity, right? Most of these very small, unfelt, unnoticeable, I should say. Or deleted events. There's a 3.2 South Island area about five hours ago. Uh, looks like maybe another 3.0 in there as well. Let's see if we can find those on the earthquake drums. Nothing big. Uh, just a little minor earthquake activity down south here it looks like. And goodness, I, I mean, I guess that may be it right here. Again, nothing big, nothing uh, major going on here across the New Zealand area. All right, uh, let's see what else we have um, on the globe. The Atlantic Ocean here looks, uh, aside from this 4.2, looks fairly clear as far as movement goes. Pretty good cluster of quakes across the Middle America Trench. Uh, as always, the Alaska area somewhat uh, minor up here across the Aleutian Trench. A 4.5 did come in. I think this is a little bit older quake from this morning. It looks like about 4 o'clock or so. Haven't really seen too much activity. I think the main spot uh, that we need to watch for now is going to be the uh, eastern edge here of the Filipino plate. All right, uh, let's jump on to space weather here real quick. Got to make this just a short update. Uh, got to got to get up kind of early tomorrow. Flaring activity. What do we have? Well. Still looking at a pretty good chance here of seeing an X flare with an elevated level here of about 15% chance, 45% chance for an M flare, C flare at 99% chance, and this is coming off of uh, mostly a threat from uh, this regional sunspot here that we have a little bit better perspective of. Uh, it does look like it's flaring slightly, nothing major currently yet. Uh, the complex structure of it, let's see what it looks like here, 3323, still uh, fairly dynamic. And uh, a couple other regions down here showing some advancement, but uh, they will be disappearing off the visible disk here soon. And we're left with, uh, I think, this main sunspot region here that uh, has been definitely flaring here in the past couple days. I'll continue to watch that. Uh, 33, what is that? 3323, right? Yes, so that harbors a beta gamma structure. Uh, which is fairly complex. That was a couple days ago there, or yesterday. All right, no major auroras going on. Slightly elevated conditions here. I guess they were kind of fall, uh, forecasting that here tonight. This is going to be the detailed forecast, showing it right around the 1824 uh, on the June 2nd time frame. And it is, uh, hold on a second here. Let me see. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit later on today, um, we should get maybe a little bit of enhancement according to this uh, six hour block predictions forecast here for the uh, KP index up around the G1 class storm. Continue to watch that here with a 65% chance later today at the higher latitudes of the auroras. Uh, for the auroras up there, mid latitudes at 25% chance. All right, weather activity. Well, thunderstorm activity, it looks like, for the most part. Uh, maybe tomorrow, a little bit of activity down into Texas. Um, minimal threat here. 
uh, for the most part, not seen anything major except for some hail issues, it looks like, down there in western Texas. They're getting a lot of rainfall down there, it seems. All right, folks, uh, just got to keep this a little short here tonight. Uh, again, um, i got to get up somewhat earlier tomorrow. Let me check out the Hawaii area. Can't skip that because that's been a fairly hot topic here with uh, Kilauea Volcano. Not really seeing anything major going on currently. Uh, on the live stream, there is a station called Cone Peak, and that is very close here to the Kilauea area. Uh, volcano there on the big island. So if you see that thing showing some seismic activity, you know they're having some earthquake movement there. Uh, let's see here if we got any new, any new updates. We did check out the one this morning. Um, looks like that's the only one there on Kilauea Volcano. So we'll continue to watch it and, uh, of course, report back on it if anything major uh, changes out here. All right, folks, have yourself a good night. We'll catch you guys back out here sometime tomorrow. Take care, everyone.